Well, you know what they say. Once you go black, well, you know the rest. So what we have here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and get this painted. This hood is gonna get completely resprayed. Uh, maybe the fender, we're gonna wait on insurance. Fixing that. We're gonna be painting this. Uh, we are waiting on a few uh, supplements, so we're gonna paint what we can right now. Get the ball rolling. It's got uh, two bumpers, tailgate. Uh, this thing was really, really messed up right in here, so uh, took a lot of time to do some body work. So I'm gonna get it pulled in, and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. So we'll see you soon. Okay, so we have the car up here in the paint booth and we're gonna go ahead and um, start to mask it off. This is the hood. Like I said, we're still waiting on a possible, possible supplement for the uh, fender. Now, these were some chips because you just can't paint over chips. So we did a little bit of uh, work here. Uh, there was a significant dent here and just some chips. So uh, went ahead and we 400 it, the whole hood. Uh, we have a very, very, very good color match. I don't have to worry about blending too much. I can just panel paint it, and it's not going to be a problem. Um, so I'll seal most likely this stuff, and uh, we'll just color the whole hood, and probably just break it off here. And in the back, Mr. Diaz is working on the tailgate, and I'll bring it up here. Hopefully you can see it. And we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to tape up tape up all the areas where paint can kind of go through so it doesn't get into the inside of the car and then uh we'll put this actual tailgate we'll utilize this um i don't even know what you would call this it's like a tailgate lift you can um rod and keep it in any position that you want which we'll show you and um this will probably be another video but we're just gonna do the tailgate and the hood right now so uh, we'll put on a little time lapse and get painting, uh, get taping. Okay, so what we're doing is back masking. That means that the actual um, tape is situated in such a way that it's sticky facing out. So when we go to cover the actual car, the uh, plastic will stick to this and we get paint all the way up to our edge, which is very important. So taped up all those areas where, um, you know, paint could protrude in and we're gonna continue with the uh, masking. so this is all back masked um we're only painting a lower portion because that's where the damage was and um when we go to cover it all the plastic will just stick to this so come along to the front Grab that. gonna do the same um type of masking on the on the front on the hood we're just gonna put the tape underneath yeah we're gonna put the tape underneath here and then we're going to um, just put the plastic right over that. So uh, masking a hood is super, super simple. We can open it up. Yes. Sometimes what we might want to do is clean the bottom of the hood so that the, um, the tape does stick to it. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that.
Okay, so I'm back here in the booth and I got the whole entire car all uh, cleaned off. I, I start with a water-based cleaner first for me uh, because the uh, wax and grease remover, the solvent-based, I feel it leaves a nicer finish. Uh, sometimes the water-based can leave a little bit streakiness. Um, so that's my personal preference and that's what works for me. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I have sealer mixed up and it's a black sealer. And what sealer does is it gives that a good uh, cushion, that adhesion also covers up any bare areas to give it a nice um, ground for our base to lie right into. Now, over here, I'm going to, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a coat on the whole hood yet or just spot seal. I'm gonna see how the sealer kind of lays out. Uh, so we'll kind of see how that goes together. And then on the back, definitely the whole entire thing will get sealed. So after the sealer, then we're ready for base. It's not really a hard paint job, guys. Uh, it's just making sure everything is clean. I washed this whole car down, uh, the whole thing smooth. I've cleaned, clean, clean from the moment that my hands touch this car. I know it's clean. So I'm trying to prevent any sort of contamination issue. Uh, that I might have. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and load the gun up and get some sealer going. That's John. Okay, back here in the booth, I got it all based up. I did two and a half coats. And also in the front, same thing. Still flashing, I could take edge to edge. Okay, I don't have to worry about blending because we paint this color all the time. I know this color matches. And I, wanna, I don't wanna miss the opportunity to go over a little bit of uh, like a mark here and there and make sure the whole color is, the whole hood it's nice and colored, and I know that I'm gonna have a nice finish. Now, I'm about to bring in the clear coat. What I want, what I want you to do is watch how I guide the um, actual gun. The guys that make these guns, they're designed to atomize. All you have to do is guide it in such a way that it's transferring the clear coat to the panel. So you should be controlling the gun. The gun should not be controlling you. You are the tech, you are the painter, you control the gun. So I'll have Diaz come on in here and film me doing that so you can get a watch. I'm a little bit vertically challenged in the middle of a hood on an SUV, so I get a little bit creative. So bring it back here.
probably look kind of funny here, little red riding hood. <laughs> so I got the clear all done down. That's two coats, uh, high solids clear. If you just watch me, I just let the, go the gun do its job. It, it came out beautiful. I'm really happy. It's jobs like this that really, uh, really capture the time and work and the effort of everything I put into my life to get to this point. Um, I don't, there might be dirt. I, I don't even know. Yeah, there is a little piece here. I want to show you that life is not perfect. And neither is my paint jobs. Just get a little dirt lip. But also knowing how to take that out is a part of the skill as well. So uh, check that out. Now the hook came out really good. It's still gonna flow out after I hit the bake cycle. And when you hit bake, what that does is it gets a hot, hot, hot. And it helps that paint break up a little bit more and smooth out, which is really cool. You gotta be careful for runs though. But one might say, if it's gonna run, it's gonna run anyways. Do I look really silly right now? I can't see myself. So this is the uh, hood. Not perfect. I got a dust nib somewhere around there, but dang, it's really nice. So I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna hit bake on this one so that the uh, clear can kind of smooth out a little bit. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to put up some more videos in the future of uh, different techniques and different things that maybe man the community can learn a little bit y'all have a good one and we'll see you on the next one